So I heard that recently Demir won a small tournament in Japan and you know people have been asking as well in the comment section what I think about Demir in general and I decided to give it a shot. It was pretty good before we had the new set. It, I wouldn't say it was better than Esper or anything so it was still overshadowed by a better deck and here I believe it's kind of the same situation. It still feels about the same. I think it got a little bit better just because control making a comeback just makes Demir better automatically because there's a play style with Demir that is very effective against control and it's just generally having a lot of utility lands now this one doesn't have that many utility lands but you can go plus one Marex maybe but just in general flash creatures counter spells card advantage that's how you beat them and then obviously utility lands and in the sideboard you have a lot of that as well so the main deck a little bit more tailored towards beating a variety of different decks and then you can really hone in on the sideboard bring cards in that completely demolish control like you know duress stroke negate tide binder specifically insane a liliana really good and edict as well so you have you have a lot of cards to bring in on top of the naturally effective game plan so that's really good um that's probably the most positive thing i can say about demir is just that it, it is better in this meta i think than than asper if you're fighting control specifically now, if you're fighting aggro decks, it's still the same situation where you're better off in white. You need the sunfall. You want the white life gain. You do have the body size, like the the two four, you know, a little more toughness oriented creatures. That does help having shield red and preacher. But you're still going to be falling a little bit short without some more life gain. And then there's not that much room in the sideboard because you need to dedicate a lot more interaction for those you know slower mid-range decks like um like ramp and control so a lot of sideboard has to be dedicated towards that since the main deck is kind of neutrally kind of but you could play maybe a few more parasitic grasps like you know cut the annoyance you do have night clubber which is probably your biggest potential out against aggro with the gixus command as well the night clubber is effective in certain spots now it won't always be good but when it is good, you're going to win the game on the spot. So there is some hope still. You could Night Clubber your opponent at the right time and just win. But it's still kind of iffy. Uh, Path of Peril is pretty effective, but just worse than than a Lockdown. The white, you know, the white Sweeper for three. So everything is just worse than white if you're trying to face low curve aggro decks. So I don't know. It's It depends. It is a mid-range deck, so the playstyle is, is different than a control deck. But with that, the matchups do shift. Anyways, there's not much I want to say about this. Check the games out, and if you like Demir, go ahead and try it for yourself. It is good. I'm sure you're already playing it, though. So, uh, But yeah, it's still good. It's still a good deck. It's just not Tier 1, and it's not. It's probably not the best thing you could play, but it's still effective. So depending on what you're seeing on ladder, go for it. That's all I have to say. Okay. That's good. Also, I think for, like, right now, off the top of my head, for me, one of Demir's strengths is being able to play on turn one. And I think this is not enough. I didn't have anything. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pass. Ezrim. Oh, that one. Yeah, I think that card's fine. Like, it's not. I wouldn't say it's crazy or anything, but. Decent. Yeah, I do think this deck might want Duress or, like, another one drop. Kind of difficult to find another one drop though. Oh, they do have counter magic, I forgot, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I'm too used to playing against to make this beer. <laughs> but alright. Uh, I kinda needed to play sorcery speed and not flip this anyways. That card's good. Mm. 
The new Lazav doesn't seem that good. I mean, it's fine, but... It's not that crazy. I need to stop it after they draw that, if they want to draw. Oh, they didn't draw, okay. Just don't commit anything. No more lies is huge, yeah. So good. It's so hard to um, to play against because three is a lot. Three is a lot. It's too much usually. You're getting countered for like half the game basically, in most cases. Wow. That is so desperate. Marex is such a nonsensical card against control. That's why you need land destruction. Like, it doesn't. I feel like Marex is kind of degenerate in some ways. I can't. I can just kill the token, I guess. Might as well. I have a lot of removal, I can just abuse that. I don't want to cast another spell, so I won't. That's kind of interesting. I don't feel like I should cast anything. I do, I do draw a card. I don't need the card, though. And I don't want to commit sorcery speeds. Sorcery speed. They probably sweep here, though. What? Okay, now I think it's it's time to... It's time to bait out the removal spell, isn't it? Or, I mean, the counter spell, the counter spell, right? Can only kill one. Ah. Uh, no. No, yeah, I have to do it. I have to do it. I don't know. I don't, wanna, I don't want them to flip this. I might not do it. Just because I don't want them to flip. Yeah, well, they can they can flip forcefully, but it's fine. It's a good draw. I'm surprised they didn't. Do anything there, but okay. Okay, we're not done yet. They go to night here, it's annoying. Okay. So they have to use this. Kill my... I'm annoying. Mana count's not quite right for me, but...
Guess I have to commit. Uh, could let them just flip Celestis, honestly. Probably gonna do that and just go for double. Hmm. Yeah, there's no point in playing this. Unless I don't want them to flip, but I don't. Like, the flip is not that bad. I mean, they would much rather have a draw two for three there than uh, deduce. There's not that much that interacts with this, so I'm gonna let them draw, and then if they find a removal spell, then it is what it is. Illegal attacks. Try again. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm already attacking. <laughs> what do you mean, illegal attacks? I mean, what kind of removal am I really expected to play? Probably not much. I don't even think I want this. Lily. This is actually triggering me again. Every every time. <laughs> I can't help it. Auto-triggered. I mean, do I really need removal? Like, what... What could really appear where I would be like, okay, I need a removal spell. I think make disappear is kind of eh. It's fine, but I'm not like super ecstatic about it. I think I'll try I'll try zero removal. I mean just edict. Hey, Avi. The only control deck that exists can't afford to play many Field of Ruins either, since you want blue and white mana ASAP for Counterspell. I mean, you have to play Field of Ruins. There's, there's like, it's not that you can or can't afford to, it's that you have to. So it doesn't matter. If you can't count around two sometimes, you need to get rid of Mirex, you're literally just going to lose the game. Well, that's kind of annoying, actually. But... I guess it's kind of pointless to play the bat, because otherwise... Yeah, I don't I don't want them to lock down next turn. Yeah. I'd rather just flash in this. That's also why Schooner I, I think Schooner is not really a card you want in this deck. Like this deck wants to play instant speed at as many points into in the game as possible, especially early. Yeah, that's fine. Well, they're gonna be able to tide bind this, but it's not very impactful. 
Yeah. Marex is super brutal for the for the um Damn, I'm only getting one, one over there. Marex is super brutal for the control X. It's something that you will never ever beat almost because you don't you don't have the pressure to to beat it. And yeah, that's also a reason why you can't play three color control, I think, for sure. Agree with that. Yeah, control usually struggles against Demir. Because we're basically playing the same strat, except they have way more expensive spells and they have less disruption. So they have to face down my disruption while also trying to find the correct spells in the right order. It's a lot harder. Just get overrun. I think that was a good keep. I think so, yeah. It had everything I'd want, right? I find black, I have bat, I have a removal spell, I have mastermind. I have three draws for land. The odds are in my favor that it works. They're missing blue, right? As annoying as that is. Still get to draw one more as well. Maintenance, are they fixing the bug? Oh, well, yeah, just just draw, just draw, yeah. Right, this is, uh, that's not a good sign for the games today, if I'm being honest. They didn't grab blue. Because they want to do this. Okay. Most likely they're going to kill this. I mean, either way, I should put down Gix. No, actually, they want to take the gigs, I think. So they're, they they want to ping this, and then they want to take the gigs. So I should put on this. And I might find a land anyways. Like, I'm always assuming I get the stats, but... Yeah. Yeah, I always find it funny. Like, for me... If Magic the Gathering is the best card game of all time... I feel like we really have not seen the peak of the genre, like... But who's gonna make it, right? Like, who's gonna make the best card game of all time? All I can say is that it either... It almost certainly will not involve you drawing your main resource as a... as a card. Could happen, but the system would have to be really convoluted, so it's gonna be, like, really weird. Bridge is a better game. No, I'm talking about like deck building games, obviously. Counterspell. Any spell. Any useful spell. Urtai. Would be pretty funny if I got Rex by Sunfall, wouldn't it? 
Wouldn't that be funny? We're grabbing blue. Can block now. Two more cards. Well, they're trying to high roll another draw off that. That's kind of greedy. I feel like they should just slam this thing. They should slam the beanstalk. Yeah, and then draw. Because it, it's higher odds for them to find the sweeper. I think they need now. Somehow, I have not seen a single counter spell, and I'm third of the way through the deck. Okay, that's not good. Shield Red might kill them, so I think I have to go for it. I mean, it's not going to kill them, but... Oh no, it will with the draw upkeep, yeah. I don't have a choice. I guess there's no point in attacking with the Siren, right? I'm going to chump block with it. No, I don't need to chump block, right? I don't need to chump block. I might as well deal the extra damage. It could matter. It's unfortunate I don't have this uh, Zawara up. I don't know why they killed the. Uh, yeah, they should have. Yeah, they should kill the Gix. Okay. Oh yeah, I can always remove. Worst case. All right, now they're dead, right? They're always dead here. Wow, TCG might have had the best resource system in card games I've played. Didn't um? How was Gwent? I heard Gwent was a good game. I've not played it. Do I think I play enough hate against Domain? That's a tough one. I would say yes. But it might, I might be missing like one or two maybe. Like it's either I have the exact amount or I don't have enough. But I think it's fine. Like if you look at it, let's see, let's see how this sideboarding goes. Then I'll be able to answer better. So I can't play this. Play this. I need a few removal spells, but not that many. Reacher is interesting. This is bad. Okay, I think yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. I think you need fourth gigs for this matchup. That's something I didn't consider. Like this might be the only matchup with control. Yeah, with control, where you want the gigs times four. But I think gigs times four is kind of risky in other matchups because. If you're on the back foot, a 3-3 three, three is so bad compared to a 2-4. Like, it's not comparable. They're just night and day. Especially, specifically with that touch. Like, Preacher is so much better. So you never swap these out. I don't know where you're getting the fourth kicks from. It's probably just not possible. I think I would play... I think I would cut a Preacher, potentially. Or, no, it's got to be Shielded. Okay, if they play Beanstalk, Shield Red is better. Yeah, Shield Red is better if they play Beanstalk. They have Beanstalk, but like... Yeah, maybe I could have Preacher, or screw it, yeah. Well, Preacher can be good though, it demands an answer. It's a 3-drop, yeah, okay, I'm on the draw, I need to lower my curve, I think, even though... Yeah, Shield Red doesn't give me more card advantage, I think card advantage is probably the number one thing you should look for. Number two is probably some kind of threat. I guess Preacher kind of does both. Nah, but you can't go... The thing is... There's a limit to the cards you can play against Domain. Because they have Cavern that they could draw. And they also have access to... Just their general top decking. Which means discard spells are not as effective if, if you don't have like a super aggressive deck. It's still worth playing a certain amount, but you can't go like overloading on discard and stuff. Okay, so this is another one lander that is like absolutely insane if I find the land. I think it's worth keeping. 
Like this is top top level stuff. If I, if I find the land immediately, I just win the game. So it's worth it's worth risking when I'm a, when I when I'm a game up here. Yeah, it's worth it. Best game of all time is Mental Magic. What what is that? What the heck is Mental Magic? Take the removal spell, bat again, then take the invasion. This is a kind of interesting turn, actually. I think it's bad. What's Tishana again? Is that Tidebinder? Oh, you know what's funny here? They have a really good play. I don't know if they're going to see it, though. Tidebinder? Yeah, Tidebinder main deck is really good against Rambai. That's good. That gives you a pretty decent edge. Okay, that's not terrible. That's not terrible, but that's kind of devastating when their alternative was a play that's, like, fine, but not, like, super good. I need to land here, please. Okay, we're in trouble now. They found the ramp, and that means all their spells are like 10 times better. It means I have to counter this, I have to counter this. I'm, this is going to be hard cast. So I'm probably going to lose to three threes. Okay, wait. I do have three counter spells. So theoretically, if I find the land, I can maybe deal lethal damage before that matters. If they find Cavern, it's over, but... Ooh. I... I think that's a good sign. It could also be devastating, though, depending... Like, on what this card is. Because, like, obviously this is a much more dangerous card when it's hard cast. So... Okay, that's good. Now we need one more mana, and I can... See, now I'm, like... Now I'm second-guessing the Preacher versus Shield Red, because, like, there are many spots, maybe, where I wouldn't have a two-mana spell, and I'm on, like, turn five, potentially. If you can't do three plus counter, I think Shield Red is just better, because it represents more immediate threat. And you already have the three plus two and the Gix already. So this might be better on like exactly turn three if you curve and if you're on the play. But maybe overall it's just worse. Because at least Shield Red has an immediate impact if you're close to like closer to winning. No, if it's a tracks, that's fine. It would have to be cavern. What I'm scared of is like Yeah, something like that. And then I Then I'm scared they have like ley line, but I kinda have to play this way, like. I have to draw them a card. Wait, do I have to draw them? I guess I don't necessarily have to draw them a card. But the ley line still screws me next turn. And this is a better play if I want to Gix next turn. So it's a gamble into ley line, basically. I can give them one less draw. But then my mana efficiency goes down the drain. I think I'm going to try it, though. Maybe it plays around their counter spell as well. They have like, they wouldn't have make disappear. They would have negates maybe. In that case, it's better to Urtai. But I think playing around the more likely that I play around the ley line here than playing around negate. Like ley line top deck specifically. Yeah. 
basically I'm delaying their potential good card draw by one turn. That might matter, that might not. No. Well, if they had it in hand, then... Hmm. <laughs> it's still not too bad, but that makes my gigs way worse. Okay, well. Is what it is. Yeah, that was a misplay then. Well, I don't know if it was a misplay, but it was a play that didn't work out. That's fine, I guess. Okay, so now I have to pray that this is gonna connect, and then I need to find another counter spell. I don't know why they conceded there. There's, there's like no reason to concede. They just find a sweeper and they're back in the in the game. I could just draw land. I I, I haven't drawn much land this game, so easily could have been land. <laughs> 